Architecture doesn't need any words. It should be self-explanatory. How can someone of another culture appreciate a certain piece of work in such a way that he can connect with it in his own life, and at the same time, discover the foreign and the exotic within it? This is the dichotomy we are faced with. My name is Tristan Kobler. Together with Barbara Holzer, I am the co-founder of Holzer Kobler Architekturen. As much as possible, we try to avoid acting on a local level, instead aiming to absorb the themes of different cultures that can be combined, to merge and unify these different aspects together. We want to break new ground. We want to be different. We want to consider our work to be part of cultural activities, to analyze things and newly develop them. Even if the final result is something familiar, this exploratory process is necessary. We are not attempting to develop a single, consistent style within our work. Our customers come to us because they believe that with us, perhaps they will be able to develop something they've not even considered. I believe that we are very flexible in our thoughts and integrate as many people as possible because we are always searching to add value to society and the users. We want to create architectural experiences, and that is what it is about. The Paleon is actually not a museum, but a tourist place. After 200 years, excavation of the site had finished, and a new structure was needed. The idea was to incorporate a new attraction that considered the archaeological history of the site. The historic element at this site was the presence of broken up bones and spears. So, how do you deal with that? In this case, we tried very hard to create a building that would become the largest artifact in itself. The architecture consists only of vectors, what you would get from throwing spears. The shell is the skin of the horses that has been slid open. At the end, we decided to apply mere coatings to the building. It is here and not here. The horizon continues, it's visible in the landscape, and then it's gone again, dissolved. It is a landmark which you are not supposed to see. There are many things about Vectorworks that we really appreciate. It is very flexible. You can progress rapidly at the initial schematic stage without the need to precisely define everything. You can use it almost in a sketch-like manner. During construction planning, however, you can apply it very accurately. The single program provides a spectrum of workflows. Building information modeling is about cross-linking. We live in an interconnected world and we can no longer do without that interconnectivity. And this is also the advantage of BIM, that it facilitates this network from planning through implementation, operation and management. There's hope within the industry that things will become more simplified due to the standardization. But this presents a problem for architects. Naturally, architects are not only striving for standardized products. The architecture must not be left behind. Innovation and creativity, these must remain achievable alongside BIM. I believe that the cities of today will fall without preservation akin to that of historical monuments. They will not survive in their current state. How we bring together thought, philosophy and architecture, based on costs, society's demands and expectations for work and leisure. All of this is changing and architecture will have to create completely new cities to accommodate those changes. Life will become very different. Needless to say, for us, this is extremely interesting.